versus where you were at last year and a new defense and all that. I mean, what do you look at uh, as points to try and evaluate uh, the progress you've made over the last year? Uh, you know, just footwork and, uh, you know, small details like that. Uh, you know, last year you can kind of see me kind of bounce around a little more than necessary. You know, uh, you can kind of say I was kind of a little uncomfortable back there. And, you know, um, if you watch film now, you can you can tell I'm a lot more comfortable back there uh, just by, you know, uh, doing the little things right, you know, with my eyes and uh, eyes and footwork, you know, kind of working together. What do you mean bouncing around? Uh, you know, just taking unnecessary steps, okay. uh, you know, going back or forward that, you know, there's unnecessary steps, I should say, yeah. For a lot of these redshirt freshmen will be their first time playing in Memorial Stadium. If you had to give them any advice, what would it be? Uh, you know, just go out there and play. Uh, you know, it's just another practice. Uh, I mean, it's just a lot more people out there. But, um, you know, it's it's just another uh, tool for, uh, you know, them to make a make a name for themselves. And, uh, you know, just one thing I've been telling everybody, just go out there and practice. You've seen, so Saturday, just your guys' ability to cover um, in the secondary, that was was that one of your better days? Or, I mean, have you, you guys have done pretty well this whole spring, but how did that one compare to some of the other practices you've had? Uh, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, as a coverage as a coverage unit, I thought that was probably one of our better days of the spring. Uh, but also, I think that was kind of one of our our downfalls of the day in the run game. I don't think we, we didn't. Right. I mean, we had some nice plays, but we also gave up some, you know, like one or two, one, two or three big runs that, uh, you know, that we need to stop. You know, that's one thing that we need to. Uh, you know, make a name for ourselves in the Big Ten is be able to stop the run. I know game day, you know, in the fall can be so serious and locked in, but do you cons consider the spring game a little more laid back and fun, just kind of let loose out there than a regular game maybe? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's, especially for, the, you know, the older guys that, you know, uh, it's kind of a chance for us to, you know, still help and coach the younger kids because, you know, they still don't get the opportunity. Some of them don't get the opportunity to play in uh, during the season. So, you know, this is kind of like game day for them. It's a big game day for them for they get the experience of, you know, playing in uh, Memorial Stadium and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, as a veteran group, it's also another way for us to, you know, help coach the young kids. Hey, Nate, I had a question. Of, it's kind of a recruiting question. Um, recently, the NCAA had uh, approved unlimited text messages to student athletes that are being recruited. So in other words, um, coaches could text you all the time, anytime, any day, starting April 30th. I think it is. What would that have been like if you had been in high school and you had been texted all the time? Would you have liked that, or would that have been something you didn't appreciate? Um, you know, I wouldn't have liked it. Um, you know, I think a lot of these kids are kind of getting overwhelmed with the whole, you know, social media thing as it is. Um, but I think that, you know, a lot of kids are just worrying about too much where they need to just worry about, you know, doing their own job and, you know, working hard and, you know, getting bigger, faster, and stronger. But uh, I think that, um, you know, that's just kind of putting too much on them at a young age. And I just think that it's, I think it's just too much. So if you've been the guy that, you know, had, woke up in the morning and you had 30 texts from, from whomever, would that have been overwhelming and, like, pressure to answer them all or to figure out who was who? Was who and who yeah, was yeah, I think it would be, you know. And, uh, you know, especially with young kids, you know, they're supposed to be in school and, you know, learning and, you know, uh, you know with education and stuff like that kind of, you know, a lot of kids are kind of just, um, you know, turning their head towards the whole recruiting thing and stuff like that when they shouldn't be. And like I said, I think it's just going to be too overwhelming for a lot of them.